it's a blur of moments and great happenings. We were there the night Daryl Stingley was paralyzed. We were there when Errol Campbell ran for 200 and some yards against Miami. Uh, uh, we were there when I, and I turned around and looked over my shoulder and President Reagan was standing behind, and behind uh, the little separation of our booth. And John Lennon was standing there with him. And President Reagan put his arm around John Lennon and he was explaining American football to John Lennon. And when we were in a commercial, Howard said, Gifford, you do the president, I'll do the Beatle. We were going to interview them at halftime. Of course, Howard knew who was the most popular. <laughs> and then, you know, the, the tragedy of losing both of them. He, John Lennon was uh, murdered on the night we were on the air in Miami. And we were the ones who broke the news to the world that John Lennon had been shot and was presumed dead. These were some of the things that happened. We had an earthquake in San Francisco. The memorable moments, I mean, is a blur of, of a constant memorable moments. So many things happened over the, the, that many years of doing Monday Night Football, which, which uh, it also became Thursday Night Football and Sunday Night Football. We even tried it on Friday night. And like so many other things, if it works, you know, make it bigger. But that never really has happened. Monday night is still a special night. And I, I take a lot of pride in having been there when that happened. But with that many of them, a lot of things are going to happen. And a lot of things over the years did happen on Monday night. Some of them very comical and, and some of them tragic and sad and in, in retrospect. 